Hi everyone, Sandy here. Uh, just gonna make you a really quick video. As you can tell, it's Monday the 25th at 9.02 p.m. Um, I'm really running right behind on this. I wanted to get this done earlier. It didn't happen, got really busy. But I had done the unboxing of the... Uh, belt, belt strap, yeah. Um, the pen, the elastic leather belt snap strap belt whatever you want to call it I don't know so this is what it looks like on my Kodiak um, I I'd love the scratches if if that's um, not your look I totally understand but um I, I just love the way this is aging this is from Pepper and Finch um, previously known as Bobby and Hyde sorry Ann wow I drew a blank there um, it's for Kodiak leather. It's just amazing. So this is from Rosie. And what you just do is you unsnap this. You see she puts in two notches for you for expanding. And this really does expand. Um, I ordered one from her. She makes them in numerous colors. And she makes them, she'll ask you what the centimeter width is on your traveler's notebook. And, um, this works just fine for me, but as you can see, this could stretch immensely. Um, so I think I will be ordering uh, more from her. I think I'm liking this, but I'm going to give it a go before I, you know, commit to that because it is different for a traveler's notebook. As you see, I haven't taken off the elastic. It's still under there. Um, I could easily take that off and put it back on, but I just wanted to do the video for you um, really quickly. It does... Um, come unattached. I don't know if this is something Rosie could attach for you. If you would like a traveler's notebook with one of these attached, I would definitely reach out to her. Um, she is very innovative. Um, you, know, you can talk with her about it. As you see, it does have a pen loop, and I put in one of my multi-pens, so you can see that it holds <clears throat> a nice, thicker pen. So if you have a fountain pen that's a little on the thicker side, it will definitely fit in here. Um, but that's what that lo looks like. And then I just thought I'd do a quick setup video for you. I haven't done one in a bit. Um, I'm not a, a pretty girl, per se. Um, mine is more... Well, you'll see as we go along. I do have these um, pockets in here where um, I keep some post-its, um, some sub... I'm a substitute teacher this year, so I have some sub-stickers in there. Um, my stamps. Um, Anne can make this with card pockets here. And part of me wishes I had gotten them, and the other part of me just prefers my cards in here so that I can see them, so... I'm not sure. I'm talking with her by getting another one. I'm not sure which design I'll go with. Um, this is from Stationery by Minnie. Um, this is a... I don't think it's a Midori pouch. I think this is one of the pouches. Oh, I don't know. Either it is a Midori or it's one that I got from Rosie also. Um, I am totally... Well, not, I shouldn't say totally, but like 90% maybe more or less, I don't know, switching over to Monique's Claire Fontaine lightweight inserts. And that's what this is. Now this goes to the end of the year and this is a week on a page um, with the month in between. And that's how I'll be completing this year. But for next year, I did get her day on a page on Claire Fontaine. Let me see if I can reach them. Um, these are her Day on a page. Sorry, Claire Fontaine. Lightweight. Um, each insert comes with um, two months. And they're super thin. <clears throat> so I have January through June to get the year started. Um, this is a stationery by Mini dashboard. Um, this was in her stationery by Mini. This recent kit, she has this little laminated pocket in here, which I um, have thoughts on what I'm gonna do when I switch it over for 2018, but right now it's just on a dashboard. Um, this is the 2018-2019 month on two pages. 
So like I said, I'm switching over to the lightweight and here's two years and it is super thin. It's even more than just that. There's a dashboard caught in there. Uh, sorry guys. Back of the dashboard. Um, I think this is a Midori wallet. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a Foxy um, dashboard. I purchased some for my field note size traveler's notebook. Um, I'm not currently using that size, so I just put that in here with my younger daughter's pictures. This is from, um, oh my gosh, Little Owl Graphic. Um, she does these really awesome um, goal tracking. Now this isn't on the lightweight paper, so this is you know your standard kind of paper. But I really like this. I put some of No Face Washi from Rosie down there. I order a lot from Rosie, yeah. Um, what I do is I'm tracking the books I read, and I'm tracking some goals. And um, I just started in August, and have, I've been really great with tracking the books. Not so much with the goals. I've got to get better at that. Um, but then this will list my October books. And this goes through all of next year, I believe. I asked her. Yeah, I had enough to go. Actually, it's going to take me into January 2019. So even though it's not lightweight paper, it's still all through next year. Um, the back of the dashboard. Um, these, all my stickers are from Redbubble. Um, you've probably seen a lot through here. Um, this is Redbubble. This is Neil Gaiman's um, Neverwhere book. Um, a Neil Gaiman quote. A Neil Gaiman quote. I don't know if I missed any others. You'll see a bunch more as we go through. Um, this is Little Owl Graphic also. And this one is from Rosie. This is an... Uh, plastic insert from Rosie, the um, stencils from Rosie. Um, this is some vellum I printed out over the summer right after I read IQ84 um, by Murakami. And I, I really love that book. Uh, and um, I, uh, this is just like an artist interpretation of one of the scenes from the book where one of our main characters is um, looking up at the two moons. So, um, I just, I printed that out and I just kind of have it in here. It's not really doing anything. I thought maybe of, um, attaching it to make it like the cover of the insert. So maybe that's what I'll do. Um, another little L graphic magnet. I think her artwork's really pretty and I like to just set things off a little bit. And they're functional. Um, the one I have back here will mark the months, but they're also really cute. Um, this is a bullet journal from Monique on the Claire Fontaine lightweight paper, 128 pages, I believe. Um, I'm not using it exactly like a bullet journal, like this isn't going to be a daily thing. I actually am I'm using the index though, and here is this is my daughter's schedule for the, the year, each quarter. Um, her Chromebook information, the school schedule. Um, stuff like that. So um, that's how I'm going to use use it in regards to a bullet journal. I am using the, the tracking, um, but it's not going to have the tasks, the completed tasks, the events, you know, stuff like that. It's going to be more ongoing. And again, it's lightweight paper and with 120 some pages in here, I'm hoping that this will last me. I would like the setup to last me through 2018 into 2019. Um, the month on two pages goes through 2019. Um, I would like this to go through, you know, 2018, 2019 with me. I'm really liking the setup and, um, uh, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to stay. Now, granted, I will be putting in the month, I'm sorry, the day on a page. Um, so, it, you know, this, which is a week on two pages, will become inserts for day on a page, so that might get a little you know, thicker. 
Um, I don't know how many months I'll keep in at a time, but um, I might only just do two months at a time since I do have the month on two pages to really keep me uh, for forward planning. But we'll play it out when 2018 comes around. Um, this is actually... Uh, Monique was making her inserts like this. I don't think she does this fold over type anymore. And that's how she was making them back in like 2014, 20, 2015 probably. And um, I used up that insert, but as you can see, I have a lot of Shackleton, Ernest Shackleton. Um, and um, Antarctica stickers on here from Redbubble. So when I did use, oh, that's drawing my daughter, Mimi. So when I did um, finish that up, and because of the way it's still, um, it's a really cool insert cover, I um, keep it in here. I thought about laminating it, but um, I don't know. Um, it, it, I did have to start taping it up, so uh, maybe it is time to think about laminating it. Um, this is an insert from Steve Kernow. Um, Kernow Book Binding on Facebook. Um, he will do custom covers for you. I have quite a few customs from him. This is not a custom. This is something he did create, but it reminded me of the Endurance, um, Shackleton's ship. So um, I got some of this. This is his Tomer River paper. Um, again, lightweight paper. Um, this is going to be, some say brain dump, um, uh, whatever else. This, because this is going to be long term, this bullet journal insert is going to be long term, and I want it to last, um, <clears throat> um oh, that came off right there, I'll have to fix that then. This is going to be maybe for, not necessarily short term, but I'll throw quotes in here. Like if I put a quote into my bullet journal, I'm not going to really want to index it, you know, page 13, my quote on blah, blah, blah. So I might just put, um, I think what I'm going to do is just put some quotes in here. I do a lot of reading and I often come upon quotes that I want to um, remember. Um, if it's on Kindle, I can highlight it, but you know, I, I don't always... What book was that quote in? Um, and I won't mark up the books that I'm reading, so I'll probably use that for this. Um, I also recently got a perforation tool, which I had here. 